I think I always wanted to be a doctor, but the only kind of doctor I wanted to be was a pediatrician. So if I wasn't a pediatrician, I might be a baseball player or something else. But uh, I've always loved children, and that's all I ever wanted to do. So that's why I became a doctor, because I hope to be able to take care of children, and uh, they help keep you young, too. Uh, I first got to meet Dr. Fendrick. Well, first of all, nobody calls him Dr. Fendrick. Everybody calls him Fuzzy. Uh, everybody from housekeeping to the nurses to the technicians to his patients, everybody knows him as Fuzzy. And I first got to meet Fuzzy probably about 25 years ago when I started working here. We had a particularly sick child that was a rather tense situation, and Fuzzy came into the room, and everybody just calmed down. The parents calmed down, the nurses calmed down, I calmed down. It was just like you knew this kid was going to be okay because Fuzzy was there. When I think of Dr. Fendrick, I think of uh, a compassionate man, caring, um, dedicated, uh, you know, who gives his life to his work. My children, when they were little, they memorized the poem about Fuzzy was he was a bear, <laughs> and they would say it to him. He was their pediatrician from the time they were born. And wherever they were sick, no matter what part of the world, and they would say, call Dr. Fuzzy because he would know, he would make me better. Dr. Fendrick is a wonderful pediatrician. I call him the pediatrician's pediatrician. He's very reverent. He's very compassionate. And most of all, he likes sharing all of his experience with anyone who comes under his tutelage. When I think of Fuzzy, I always think about his loyalty, like to his uh, family, to his patients, and his friendliness. He's uh, the one thing I'll say about Fuzzy is he treats everybody the same. Doesn't matter what your position is or anything like that. He's just uh, you know, everybody is the same to Fuzzy. The impact that he's had on my family's life is, you know, just too grand to even put into words. I think everyone will remember my father as a person who really walk the walk and talk the talk. He's not someone who just talks about working in diverse communities or justice or, or things on that level. He actually lives that. He, he lives that in, on every level. And again, in a world where we're so used to putting our needs in front of others, my father chose the perfect profession in that he really wants to make the world a better place. When I think of Dr. Fendrick, uh, words come to mind like commitment and dedication, uh, a healer, a teacher. I think Fuzzy has been uh, a great uh, teacher to many students, many physicians. Uh, he's got a great collaborative relationship with Dr. Fernandez and the rest of the neonatologists with whom he works uh, on a day-by-day -day basis. Uh, he's got great regard and great commitment to his family, to his wife, to his children, to his grandchildren. So I think that uh, Fuzzy has really earned a tremendous reputation here over, uh, over many, many years, and I'm sure that will follow him in the years to come. I, I think to a person, everyone's going to remember Fuzzy this way. I wish Fuzzy were still here. I think when he is gone, pretty much everyone's going to say, There's, you're a wonderful pediatrician now, but you're nothing like Fuzzy. And I think that's a legacy that no pediatrician is ever going to be able to live up to, and I think that's going to last well beyond this building. Jackie Robinson is my father's hero, and there's a quote by him that I think really describes my father perfectly, which is, a life is not important except in the impact it has on others' lives. And in that way, my father has lived a very important life. Congratulations, Chief. You will always be the Chief. Fuzzy, congratulations to you and best wishes on winning the Healing Spirit Award from the Lord's Health System. Congratulations, Fuzzy, on your healing 